how, I can't stress enough how dark this hallway is. It's almost creepy. Um, black wallpaper. Very, very dark gray walls. Very dark red carpet with, I don't know, greens and grays. It's not, it's not wonderful. Um, very dark, very unsettling if you're walking in this hotel by yourself as a female. I have stayed here before, so I knew what to expect. But if you don't, just take heed. Uh, walking in though, this is a king suite at the Link Las Vegas. I got in hours ago, it took me a very long time to get into my room. Um, Check-in's 4.30, but typically I'm able to ch check in as soon as I walk through the door. That did not happen today. So anyway, when you walk in, you know, standard, you are here, whatever. Uh, right on the left here though, it's gonna be your little half bath. Um, walking in, it's got a beautiful blue ceiling. Uh, it opens it up, makes it feel kind of bigger somehow. Uh, it's actually quite clean in here. I've stayed in this hotel several times and it's never gross, gross, but I mean, usually it leaves little to be desired. Um, there's a big tear in the wallpaper there. Not really a tear, it's a separation, I'm sure, from just all the, the steam and such from the sink. Um, but yeah, this is super cute in my opinion. Little bow ties, I don't know. Wonky donkey. Anyway, over here is your typical pop art thing. Seems to be in every room in this hotel. Um, I don't know. It is what it is. It's very comic like. Uh, whatever. Uh, once you walk out of that bathroom over here on your left, immediate left, is a little kitchenette area. Over here is a Keurig. Um, I do bring my own K cups. This place does not seem to sell them in the room, but um, Caesar's Palace does, and it was like $24 for four of them the last time I was here, so it just makes more sense to me to bring my own. Um, the Keurig, I will tell you, I cleaned immediately upon walking in this room. I do not trust other people to clean something that I'm going to use to brew my coffee and then, you know, ingest. Uh, over here is a little sink area, again, very clean. Uh, there's water left behind from when I cleaned out the Keurig, but no big deal. And then faucet. Decent water pressure there. And down below is a cabinet. Uh, looks like your typical kitchen cabinet, honestly. There's a couple vents in there. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, also, these are not common in rooms out here. There's a couple properties that still have them, but a little mini fridge. I'm big enough to hold probably a case of pop or beer, maybe a couple bottles of wine, your leftovers, whatever. Uh, again, not very common to have one of those that's usable in the rooms in this city. So that's always a bonus. Uh, walking away from the kitchenette area over here is this little four-person island. A uh, very large lamp on it. And the island itself is a well, bar, I suppose. Um, it's cute. Um... Big enough, so if you're gonna sit and play a game or whatever, I guess. Sit here, eat your dinner, I don't know. Um, the four chairs are leather-like materials with, there's some dings and stuff on the legs, but again, they're very clean. Um, and to me, that's what matters. There's this little shelf over here that in my opinion, they absolutely missed the mark on. <clears throat> they need to have some sort of white vase or vases in there um, to match some of the lamps that they've used as decor. Um, I think it would have just, you know, meshed very well. Um, this picture up here, it does not uh, show well on camera, but the paint is glittery. Um, I'm sure it's not paint, it's probably like, you know, a print, but it's very glittery. Um, again, it does not read well on camera, but it's kind of a cool little painting. Um, this very large L-shaped couch is not very comfortable. Um, it'll do to sit and watch TV, I suppose. But the backrest is just that. I, like, it's not, it's not padded, really. Um, it's very thin. 
and the seat cushions are very uh, firm. So if you're one that likes to kind of nuzzle back in the back of the couch, this will not work for you. A uh, little table in the seating area right across from the television. Uh, TV is pretty clean. You can see all of the reflections from things, so that's great. Uh, large lamp in the corner here that sits in front of the window. And this is my view. This is going to be home for the next couple of days. Um, some mountains in the backdrop. It's definitely not the best view I've ever had, but it's absolutely not the worst view I've ever had either. Um, given this is a value-based hotel, I try not to be too high with the expectations. A little uh, furnace air conditioner blower thing. It's actually quite clean. Uh, usually those are pretty grimy and dusty. This one is not. And there's a big old mirror. Um, again, I feel like they just do that to make it feel larger, open up the space a bit. Not that this room is small by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, walking back past the kitchen though, toward the front door, immediately on the right of the front door, you walk into the bedroom. Uh, taking a left, right here is a bench seat. And this bench seat has extra storage. Um, not really sure what you're going to keep in there, but kind of cool. I mean, some of the furniture is pretty beat up, a little dusty. And then above that is the television, uh, which is directly across from the king size bed. Now, I have stayed at the link several times. And their beds are pretty comfortable. The pillows leave a bit to be desired, in my opinion. Um, they feel almost like a feather pillow, but they're not feather. So, in my opinion, they're just too soft. Um, but that is what it is. And then, if you want to go back to, like, 1989 and write a postcard or two, in a little sitting area over here. Um, no Bible or anything, just an empty drawer. And then, again, the view. The blackout curtains in these rooms, however, are fabulous. Instant dark. Um, I do like that, because then if you want to sleep in, if you're a sleeper. And on either side is a bed lamp. Um, each of these lamps has outlets in them. So you can plug your stuff in. Um, of course, there's the phone. Very dated, but it is what it is. Hi. A very large full-length mirror. Uh, just past that. You know what? Hang on. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if the camera will get it. I don't know what this is on the wall. You would think that it's throwing some sort of shadow. It's definitely not. I don't know what that is. I really just want to take some gloved hands and a wet towel to it because that's gross. Uh, getting back to it though. Over here on the right of the door in the bedroom is the closet. Standard in-room safe. Uh, very typical these days. I don't know that I've stayed in a property that didn't have one. Um, large area for your clothing. They uh, do supply like eight hangers. There's an ironing board and an iron couple drawers and some shelves. And over here, another full-length mirror. Hi again. Uh, this takes you into the master bath. Uh, in here, oh, these lights, I'm sure, are supposed to be white, but they're actually quite yellow. Um, big mirror. Down here, extra towels. They supply you with a hair dryer. More towels. These things, these things. It's got like your hand soap, it's got lotion, and then over here, there's three more for shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. These, they're so gross. I hate these things in hotels, and usually they leak. Every room I've ever stayed in except this one, they leaked all over the shower floor, and that gets slippery, guys. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's it. There you have it. This is my review. Walk through, I suppose, is a better word, of the King Suite, Lake Las Vegas, December 2023. I will update once I've gotten through a night or two.